ओके नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सी अबाउट सेल इन पुल सिंकर्नस मशीन इधर जनरेटर और मोटर एक्चुअली इन जनरेटर इट सेल्फ सिंकर्नस जनरेटर वी हैव सीन ऑलरेडी सीन टू टाइप्स ऑफ सिंकर्नस जनरेटर व्हाट आर द थिंग्स सेल इन पोल एंड नॉन सेल इन पोल सो फार वी हैव स्टडीड ऑल अबाउट नॉन सेल इन पोल ऑल्टरनेटर्स और जल मोटर नॉन सेल इन पोल ओनली व्हाट इज मीन बी नॉन सेल इन पोल नॉन सेल इन पोल सी दि स्टेटर विल बी राउंड इन शेप सी रोटर आल्सो इट विल बी राउंड इन शेप सो द एयर गैप विल बी यूनिफॉर्म एयर गैप विल बी यूनिफॉर्म he this is called non salient pole the pro, uh, poles won't be projected but now we are going to see about salient pole salient pole means pro poles will be projected see like this this is stator this is non this is example uh, this is the diagram for salient pole synchronous machine either generator or motor because construction is motor and generator are same so this is the diagram okay here the stator is round in shape when produces rotating magnetic field but the rotor will be it won't be round in shape it will be poles will be projected here i had to show two pole machine normally it will be four pole machine here Shown two pole machine, okay, north pole and south pole. So, what is the difference between these two things? Whether there is any analyze, analyze wise, the whether difference is there? Yes, there is more differences there because in salient pole synchronous machine, what about the air gap? The air gap will be uniform here. Whereas in the non-salient pole, the air gap will be uniform. Whereas in the salient pole synchronous machine, the air gap will be only uniform. Yeah, it won't be uniform because in the poles, the pole side along with the poles, the air gap will be minimum. But here, if the perpendicular to the poles the air gap is maximum here the air gap is maximum so due to this air gap the reactance is also changed there we have seen three two reactances what are the reactances armature reaction reactance and leakage reactances two two things will be there okay this two reactances whether this two will be re leakage reactances no issue will be there but armature re reaction reactance will change okay so that so it is not like uh, so we so what our, our ultimate is aim is to find the voltage regulation what is the voltage regulation voltage regulation equal to e not minus v phase divided by v phase so we have to find only this e not v phase is known quantity or rated voltage so how to find e not here totally different so we have to analyze a different method we have to use it so who has provided this thing okay so this axis uh, that before that thing with this axis along with this magnet this is called which is called magnet axis or field axis or d axis direct axis that is along the field is called field axis or direct axis the perpendicular to field axis the perpendicular to field axis is called quadrature axis or q axis so there are two axis are there because there in non salient pole synchronous machine there is only one axis the only magnet axis only is there because because it is a round in shape here it is not like so here we are having direct axis or field axis another axis is called quadrature axis. axis in direct axis the air gap is will be minimum in the quadrature axis air gap is maximum due to this air gap the reluctance the here the reluctance will be in the field axis the reluctance will be low whereas the quadrature axis the reluctance will be more so we have to analyze up depends upon this thing only we have to go for analysis we cannot go for normal type of uh, already we have seen about non salient pole alternator that type of analysis to find the voltage regulation by emf mmf is it bf method it is not useful in this type okay we have to go for a different method for analyze analyze and to find the voltage regulation our ultimate aim is to find the voltage regulation okay that's the thing we have to find the e not okay who has to, okay this blondels has proposed a two reaction theory okay a blondels that is called blondels two reaction theory what he has proposed actually before that i will say in the d axis in the direct axis what are the field will be provided means both the armature field flux what is field flux as main flux which is provided by the field coil field main flux will be there among the uh, along with the field flux the armature flux will be there what is mean by armature flux see when machine is loaded when the machine is loaded okay what about the current will flow through this thing flow flow through the armature winding so what will happen the armature winding will current will be armature converted into magnet because when current flows through the armature it will convert into magnet it will produce a flux that flux is called armature flux the relation between armature flux and the main flux is called armature reaction all those things we have already studied the relation between the main flux and the armature flux main flux is produced by the field coil and armature flux is produced by the when it is produced when the load when the alternator is connected to load current will flow through the armature so a flux will be produced that produced and that flux is called armature flux what is the relation between these things armature is everything we have seen okay here in this direct axis both the armature flux and main flux will be 
available it both will be available whereas in the quadrature axis main flux won't be available why because main flux will be available in this axis only main flux main flux it will be high but it will be higher in nature it will be it will be more in nature so this will be available only in this side in this side only this main flux won't be available whereas the armature flux will be available here so in this d axis both armature flux and main flux will be available whereas in the quadrature axis only armature flux will be available no main flux will be available main flux will be there so since the flux is not uniform we have to go for a different different method to uh, analyze this thing so what we are going so for this thing was proposed by blondels he proposed a two reaction theory blondels two reaction theory what he has proposed here the current armature current here the armature current is divided into two parts one is direct current direct current another is quadrature axis current direct axis current and quadrature axis current he has divided the current armature current into two current one is direct axis current and quadrature axis current whereas the direct axis current will be that is direct axis current along with this thing direct axis current will be perpendicular to open circuit voltage e not or perpendicular to e not open circuit voltage and quadrature axis current which will be along with e not that is the first thing so armature current he has divided into two parts direct axis current and quadrature axis current this direct axis current will be perpendicular to e not and quadrature axis current quadrature quadrature axis current will be along with e not this is the first thing he has proposed second thing second thing leakage reactance point of view xl leakage reactance this xl point of view it will be same here as well as here leakage reactance point of view no issue but armature reaction what is armature reaction the armature the, the effect of armature flux on main flux here since both the fluxes are there either it will be magnetizing or demagnetizing depends upon which thing depends upon the power factor because both the fluxes are available whereas here there is no main flux at all there is only armature flux is there this armature flux will only cross mantis okay it only cross mantis okay this is the thing so there are two fluxes are there so due to two fluxes this reactance he has divided the armature this is not uh, leakage reactance he has divided the armature reaction reactance into two types one is armature re uh, reaction reactance in the d axis armature reaction reactance in the q axis that is armature reaction reactance xar he has divided into two parts xard and xar two parts he has divided Okay, the current has divided into two types: direct axis current and quadrature axis current. And similarly, armature axis, armature reactants, armature reaction reactants, armature reaction reactants. Okay, he has also divided into two types: direct axis and quadrature axis. So uh, directly, I am going for only one XD direct axis reactants equal to this XARD plus this leakage reactants. We know that XA XL plus XAR equal to XS. Instead of putting yes XS, normally it will be XS. But here we are dividing into two types. Armature reaction reactants in the direct axis plus leakage reactants put together it is called direct axis reactants. Direct axis reactants. Similarly, armature reactants reactants in the quadrature axis plus leakage reactants put together it is called quadrature axis reactants. So he has divided into two types. So current he has divided into two parts. Uh, reactants also he has divided into two parts. One is ID and IQ. Another one is XD and XQ. So this is Blondel's two reaction theory. Okay, in the reluctance, see here the air gap is more. If the air gap is more, automatically here the, the, along the Q axis air gap is more, along the D axis direct axis air gap is less. If the air gap is more, automatically reactance will be uh, the uh, reactant the um, reluctance reluctance will be more. If the reluctance is more, automatically X value will be less. So X C R that uh, this value X C R quadrature axis will be less than X C R D because this air gap is more, this air gap is less. So X C R D is less than X C R direct axis. So X Q is less than X D. Otherwise X D will greater than X Q. So this value will be always greater than this X Q. This is the thing we have to find first. We have to know. This is the thing we have to know. So X D will be equal. It will be greater than X Q. Okay. This is direct axis react. Uh, direct axis reactants. This is quadrature axis reactants. This is along the field axis reactants will be there. But why this is changing due to the air gap? Because air gap is not uniform in salient pole alternator. Okay. We we know how to find normal. This is normal formula. E not equal to. We have to find voltage regulation. How to find the voltage regulation? E not equal to V phase plus I A R A plus I A into X L plus I A into X A R. This is the general formula. So what is this X L plus X A R put together? We will put as a single reactance X S. But 
here this is for non salient pole alternator this is possible this for salient pole alternator e not equal to v phase plus iara so far only here we are dividing the current into two parts what are the current ia is divided into two, two two current id direct access current and quadrant access current so direct access current into xd direct access current into xd both the things plus the quadrant access current into xq so instead of this writing these two things instead of writing these two things or two things we are writing current we are dividing into two parts similarly yeah, what xd xd consist of two components xd consist of leakage reactants as well as armature reaction reactants in the d axis so it consists of two parts so we are dividing so from this equation so i am removing this thing this is not necessary this is for non salient pole this is for our salient pole this is for our salient pole alternator so from this equation we have to draw the we have to find the e not see we cannot uh, use our normal emf method formula because emf method from the phasor diagram directly we can find the emf method formula but here we cannot use emf method for the because the phasor diagram will be slightly different i will remove all those things okay okay how the phasor diagram will be there how the phasor diagram will be there means first which thing i had to draw means i had to draw the id and iq okay i had to draw the id and iq normally i am taking this thing as a refer not reference this is the x y x axis and this is the y axis okay how ia will be there ia will be there iq will be very less in amount so this is iq okay and this is id if you add id plus iq i will get ia because i q, a we are dividing according to blondel two reaction three ia is divided into i d plus iq is divided into two parts okay so if i add this thing but iq value will be very small the quadrant axis current will be small whereas direct axis current will be normally greater because already we have seen all those things that's reactance okay if i add this two things what i will get i will get this armature current this is the armature current ia this is the armature current ia so this is just this is x axis only okay another thing we have already seen why perpendicular means iq e not our no load voltage e not and iq will be in phase not in phase it will be along with same thing whereas id will be 90 degree perpendicular with the e not so this axis is nothing but e not axis we don't know the value of e not but this axis is e not axis and iq will be along with e not and iq will uh, i d will be perpendicular with e not that's the thing blondras has proposed okay so this is the ia value so whether we have seen whether we have to see lagging power factor or leading power factor normally we will go for leading power factor lagging power factor load only so lagging means how the voltage will be there this voltage how the voltage will be there this voltage will be lagging means it will be like this thing this is the lagging voltage v phase this is v phase the current is lagging how much angle is lagging that is the phi so cos phi is the power factor lagging means i have to put just above the current because this is a lagging power factor which thing what i had add i had add iara iara which direction iara will be in the direction of ia so this will be in the direction of ia iara and ia this direction sorry this that sorry it will be in this direction this direction this and this this is iara okay with iara what are the things i had add i had add id into xd plus iq id iq into xq generally if i write normally v phase plus ia into ra plus in since we are having a reactance i had to put a plus j term j term id into xd plus j term into iq into xq since we are having a j term id into xq what is the relation between ia what is the relation between ia and j into ia into xx means this j into ia into xx will be leads uh, not sorry this is id this is id i am putting id this is id into xd what is the relation between ia and id into xd means what is the relation but sorry relation between id and id in the xt this is voltage this is current what is the relation between this will be 90 degree leading because we are having a j term if you multiply a component by j means it will rotating an angle by an angle 90 degree this is id this is id not 90 degree rotating in this direction that is this direction so this is id j in the id will be in this direction this is j into id into xd only id means it is done so i have to 
draw like this. This is voltage. So J into ID into XD. And what is IQ into XQ? IQ I am having. IQ what direction? IQ is in this direction. Another J into IQ into what is the thing? XQ. So here J into IQ into IXQ will be leads IQ by an angle 90 degree because we are having a J term. So this voltage, this is an voltage. This voltage leads this current by an angle how much? 90 degree. So lead means this is the direction. This is the normal direction. Lead means what? This direction. That is this means if I multiply a J term, it is rotated by angle 90 degree. So this direction means this direction direction about direction so this is the value of so this is the value of what is the thing i a into what the value oh, sorry i q into x q this is the value so what this value is called e naught this value is called e naught this is origin this value is called e naught okay this value we have to find that is oa e naught we have to find previously we can easily find this value by using the phasor diagram this e naught we have to find so direct directly we cannot apply all those things that we cannot find we have to go for a different type of analysis same analysis phasor diagram analysis only but somewhat slight different because here we are having two currents a different type of analysis we have to go and we have to find this which current which current that e naught value once we find the value of e naught easily we can find the regulation so i cannot directly i can find it i can i can I put like this thing and I cannot put I can put this is weak cos phi all that are all not known because this angle are not known quantity so another thing I have to explain the angle between no load current and the voltage that no load voltage and the load voltage this is load voltage this is no load voltage the angle is called load angle delta load angle delta is nothing but the angle voltage between E naught and V phase. Similarly, the angle between E naught and this current, the angle between E naught, the angle between E naught and this current is called psi. It's called psi. Okay, this current is called psi. See, the angle between voltage and current, load voltage and load current is phi. That is, similarly, the angle between no load voltage and the load voltage is called load angle delta. Similarly, the angle between no load voltage and this armature current is called psi. So these are the things we have to know. From this thing, we have to draw equal. We have to what same as phasor diagram. Already we have drawn the phasor diagram. We have to find the phasor diagram. We have to find the value of E naught value. So that is analysis by using phasor diagram. That is the next topic. All the topic, including it is a Tolmar question. All the things, including this thing. Blondel's explain Blondel's two reaction theory for cell impulse single transmission. Also uh, using phasor diagram. How will you calculate what the thing voltage regulation? How will you calculate? voltage regulation okay this is a theory question okay